So if you're trying to download and install Minecraft shaders for 1.21.5, this is the perfect guide for you. I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up shaders step-by-step, step, even if it's your first time. So guys, let's jump straight into it. So guys, quickly before we jump into the guide, I just wanna mention Pine Hosting. Now, Pine offers easy one-click mod installs, premium server hardware, fast support, and prices better than almost every other host. So, with that being said, let's jump straight into it. Alright guys, first up, we're going to need to download Iris Shaders. Feel free to head into the link in the description to go to the Iris site. Once you guys are on the Iris site, you're able to download this universal jar. We're going to go ahead and give that a download and save it in our downloads folder. Next, as soon as that's finished, we're going to open it up. As you guys can see, we have the Iris and Sodium installer. We're going to press on install. Boom, and just like that, we have installed Iris for Minecraft. Now, what we're going to need to do is get some shaders. So I recommend downloading a few from trusted sites like Curseforge or for the sake of this video, ModRynth. We're going to head to the ModRynth site. Shaders. And download something. For the example of this video, let's go for complementary. We're going to give that a download for 1.21.5 on Iris and download. Save that into your downloads folder and start up Minecraft. Make sure you have Iris and Sodium for 1.21.5 and load in. And we're just going to log into a single player world. Once you guys have loaded into a single player world, I did have shaders already preloaded, but that's fine. We're going to press escape, options, video settings, shader packs, and open shader pack folder. That's going to directly open up your shader pack folder. From here, we can go ahead and drag in the shaders we just downloaded from the browser, complementary reimagined, head back into Minecraft and select the zip and click apply. This is going to refresh your game and sync the shaders. As you guys can see, it refresh and I now have the new comp. And that's it guys, you're ready to play. Now, just before I end this video, if you want the best Minecraft server experience with your shaders, you're going to need some reliable hosting. Now, Pine Hosting is the easiest way to get a lag-free server set up in minutes. Guys, if you want to check out Pine Hosting, feel free to check the link in the description or the top comment down below. This has been UQC. Thank you so much for watching.